This example will walk you through using pivot tables to create a cross tabulation. I am using the Fortune data set, which is used for questions 51 to 53 on page 90 in your text. So question 51 asked me to create a cross tabulation with using shareholders, equity, and profit. In order to create a cross tabulation, I need to have my data next to one another in my file. So I am just going to create, put the two next to each other that I need. Select my data, insert pivot table, and I would like this data here in an existing worksheet location right there. Okay, now I would like my, judging by the, the request in our textbook, what it is looking for, for question 51, um, use the prepare cross tabulation stockholders equity versus profit. So I would like stockholders equity as my uh, my rows here and profit as my columns. I'd like to take my profit and do count of instead of sum of. Now I'll right click here to group and to group as the text is instructing my lower bound would be zero my upper bound would be six thousand and I will be grouping by twelve hundred okay and then I'll do my groupings here as well lower bound of zero upper bound of 1200 and going by 200 and again this is just as instructed by the text so I have created my pivot table as shown so this tells me that there are 10 companies with profits of 10,000 or below who have stockholders equity of 0 to 1,200. I can then use this information to calculate um, the answers in Part B. Um, 52 asked me to repeat this process, but to use profits versus market equity. Uh, and then 53 is about a scatter plot. So you should now, you know how to make a scatter plot. We should have all the information necessary to do this problem. So good luck.